The LCS is dying. The North American League Championship Series, or NALCS, is reportedly moving game days to Wednesday and Thursday, a move away from the Saturday-Sunday slot it's held for many years. Following C9 absolutely stomping 100 Thieves in the summer 2022 LCS Finals going 3-0, they promptly exited Worlds 2022 going one win, five losses in the group stage. Not a promising look for one of the world's major regions. It is speculated that perhaps the change was made to prevent the LCS from overlapping Valorant, potentially a sign that NA Val is on the rise and NA League is on the decline. This sentiment may further be reinforced by the fact that the LEC has the same League and Val structure, but their time slots will remain the same going forward. A quantitative figure we can draw from is this chart from Esports Charts. What we see here is a ranking of peak viewers from the top 8 performing viewership regions that broadcast competitive League of Legends. And you know what else broadcasts League of Legends? This YouTube channel! So make sure you hit the subscribe button for more content because... Well, I don't really broadcast the game as such. I just make I just make videos about it, but but yeah, you get you get the idea. Anyways, coming at number one, we have the LCK or League of Legends Championships Korea. Moving forward in this list to avoid repetition, if it has an L in it, we can just assume it means League of Legends. Now for number two, the LEC, also known as the European Championships. And number three, we have the LFL or the French League. Number four is the Super Liga or the Spanish League. And number five is the Brazilian Championship. Number six is the Vietnamese Championship Series. And all the way at number seven, we have the NALCS. A surprising result seeing as it's one of the most exposed and talks about leagues. And lastly, at number eight, the LPL, also known as the Pro League, which is based in China. But this listing is kind of skewed though because it doesn't account for Chinese websites. So the NALCS is technically last place. As a saving grace though, we also have this, which is average viewership. The LCS ranks at the middle of the table here. After his 16th split with the NALCS, I was able to find some feedback from Bjergsen about the current state of the LCS, as there are talks of him considering going back home to the LEC. Bjerg says, while a lot of things have improved on the back end of the org side to become more professional and support the players in a better way, that might not reflect in the LCS viewership, but that's something that I'm really happy about. He continues, I don't know why exactly the viewership might be lower. I don't think it's really my place to talk about. But we have had conversations with Riot. They're aware of it and have a lot of ideas for things they might be looking to change within the next few years. Hopefully what Bjerg says is true and we can see the LCS get back to its record-breaking numbers of seasons three or four years ago. 